Right, well, I've had a fantastic day riding the Xscape all day long, and I'm just going to go over some of my conclusions from riding the bike. First thing is, the parallel twin is just an absolute joy, really, on public roads. It's got 60 horsepower, 55 newton meters of torque, but it's quite revvy and just lets you kind of rev, rev out and enjoy it. And I've been able to pull off overtakes. I think you could obtain quite a high cruising speed using this lamp as well. So 70, 80 miles an hour is no problem at all. If you wanted to go 90, 100, perhaps you were, you were going on European highways, then it's possible. At that speed, there isn't even that much vibration because you've got these uh, substantial uh, bar end mounts here, got the rubber foot pegs, uh, comfy seats. You don't really get any any vibration from any of the contact points on the bike. This lamp actually is a stressed member, so it's part of the frame. Um, and there's already companies who can tune this particular engine and get up to 15% increase in brake, brake horsepower at the peak, but also a 33% increase um, earlier in the rev range, so you're smoothing out the torque curve. So I think, given that, the engine's quite under stress and there's potential there for, for tuning on these bikes. How did I find the comfort? Well, I did about 150 miles today, and when I got on the bike, I found it quite comfortable. So really easy just to sort of sit up, and don't forget you can move around in the saddle, because the saddle is contoured up towards the tank here. So I had a really nice, comfortable ride. The bars kind of peel back towards you a little bit, so that was really, just everything felt natural. I got on straight away, really easy to see how everything worked. Same as the control interfaces, all of these uh, buttons here, they just feel really quality. They're nice to touch. Um, braking comes on quite uh, progressively. Uh, you've got a lot of bite and feel from the Brembo at the front. Talking of the front, you've got 19 at the front and we're on Pirelli Scorpion STRs, I think they are. Scorpion Rally STR but they actually have quite good road holding. But you feel quite comfortable and quite confident in them. So I like the tires on this bike. Talking of the pillion seat, Susie actually sat on the back briefly and said it was pretty comfortable, but she also liked the substantial grab handle. So you can uh, get, you know, put, position your hands further back or further forwards. And that was something which I don't think is immediately obvious just from looking at the bike, but they're quite meaty grab handles. So not only can you strap soft luggage to them but it's also easy for the pillion one other thing which happened when i was out today i had quite a lot of compliments and people talking to me about the bike that was really nice so i was parked up and people were actually tried to film and it went terribly wrong because people were driving back and forth but when they were driving back and forth they stopped uh, and they people was was commenting what's the bike and you know uh what make is it said it was really nice looking. Uh, so we had, we had a good time out today, really. So I guess the key takeaways from today are, um, it's plenty of power enough for the road. It's a great value proposition, 7,000 pounds for the cast alloys, 7,500 for the wire spoked rims. I, I forgot how good looking it is, just coming around to the front. The screen is, is very nicely contoured and styled. Um, it is adjustable, but you have to be off the bike to do that. But the overall look of the bike is just, really really nice um so yeah I, I was i was kind of taken with the way the bike looked as well as you can see here it says advento touring on the back so they obviously have aimed this bike or marketed it a little bit more at touring um, rather than full-on off-road i did go off-road a little bit and yeah it soaked up the bumps i think you got 160 mil travel on the marzocchi fork up the front did perfectly fine went through a few potholes up a gravel track I think that's probably the limit of this bike's off-road uh, credentials. For the touring side of it, I mean, you've got the option for soft luggage. You could strap things over this quite easily. Marini also offer a three-piece aluminium box set, uh, which you can fit this bike uh, out with. So that's nice as well. Overall, I had a great time with it. <laughs> it's, it's hard to, again, like the other Marini that I rode, it's quite hard to fault it. Uh, the other thing I really liked was the TFT screen, but it's a seven inch TFT. It's, it feels like a much more premium offering than perhaps uh, the price would suggest. All right guys, well I'll wrap the video up there. Um, I'd just like to thank Midwest Moto again for letting me take out this Moto Marini. We had a wonderful day today, sunny all day. I just had a blast. Um, I really enjoyed it. 
if you do want to come and test ride this bike, then they've got actually this bike, I think is the test, the demo bike, so you can come and test ride it at Midwest. Uh, they've got other motor marinis as well, Fantech, um, Indian motorcycle, um, and then some, some other brands as well. Um, but thanks to them for letting me take it out, and thanks to you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one.